In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use our new multi-market analyzer to find the best squeeze setups in a basket of stocks. Now this tool is available for all Volatility Box members as part of your free downloads with your membership. We built this indicator together step by step in module 18 of our squeeze course. Simply come into our URL, tosindicators.com slash squeeze hyphen course. And there, if you scroll down to the bottom, you'll find module 18, where you can not only see how this indicator is built, follow it step by step, and download the final files. Now, here, if we start by taking a look at the XLC sector to see how does this indicator work. Why the XLC sector? Well, it's one of three sectors which is currently in a market stage of acceleration. We have the communication sector, the energy sector, and the utility sector. So let's start with the communication sector. Into our indicator, I've plugged in the top five holdings. How do you find these top five holdings, you might ask? Just come into the Analyze tab with the ETF selected, and Thinkorswim makes that data available for you. So here inside of XLC, I have Meta, Google, Netflix, T-Mobile, and Electronic Arts. You'll see that those are the same five symbols that I've plugged into the indicator as part of our top five symbols. We have XLC, Meta, Google, Netflix, T-Mobile, and Electronic Arts. Now, if I click Apply, we can see in one quick glance everywhere where we have a squeeze. We have a squeeze inside of XLC, Meta, Netflix, T-Mobile, and Electronic Arts. Google is the one market in which we don't have a squeeze. We have just the green dots plotting. Now, out of all of these markets we took a look at, T-Mobile is the one market which has the squeeze that's hardest to come by. So you might think, hey, let's dive a little bit deeper into T-Mobile, see if that's standing out. If we come inside of T-Mobile, we can see that we do have the yellow dot squeeze, but we can also see that the trend has switched. Now here, we had to take a few additional steps to get to this information. For all Volatility Box members, in module 19 of the squeeze course, which we'll be releasing this week, we're going to build in one new piece of functionality that will even make this step a lot easier. Let me show you what that looks like. Here's a quick little preview. All I'll need to do is click yes on show trend, apply, and instantly on this chart, I'll be able to see what the trend is for the markets that I've plugged in. So without needing to go to each symbol's chart, we saw here that T-Mobile and Electronic Arts, while they both have squeezes, both have a bearish trend. It's Meta, Google, and Netflix that are matching the trend of the overall sector. Let's practice this with another sector that is also bullish. Let's try XLU, but this time we'll start from scratch. I'll load in XLU inside of our chart panel. That's another bullish sector. Let's remove our utility labels here. I'll come inside of the Analyze tab to get the top five holdings. We have NEE, Southern, Duke Energy, CEG, and AEP. Let's plug all five of those into our indicator. I'll open up our study settings icon. And here, I'm going to type in XLU, NEE, Southern, Duke, CEG, and we had AEP. I'll click OK. Apply, and our indicator automatically updates. Right off the bat, we can see that XLU, Southern, Duke, and AEP have squeezes. NEE and CEG are the two markets that don't. Out of the markets which do have a squeeze, the four that we looked at, we can see that XLU has a bullish trend. We can see that Southern has a mixed trend, more bearish if anything right now. Duke has a bullish trend and AEP has a neutral trend tre uh, tilting a little bit more to the bullish side. So very easy to see that if we did want to participate on the bullish side here, that Duke Energy is one of the few markets which stands out, and we could get to that simply by loading in this indicator without needing to do a whole lot of clicking around. For all Volatility Box members, you can download the Multi-Market Squeeze Analyzer in Module 18 of our Squeeze course, and in Module 19, which we'll be releasing later this week, we'll build in the trend capability that you see here. Take care, everyone. Good luck trading, and I'll see you in our next update.